Because I'm sitting in the middle of Rutherglen, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit this, but I've only got one Rutherglen Shiraz in my cellar. The good news is that it's this one here, the Bobby Burns Shiraz. It's been around for years. One of my friend's dads loves it, so she tipped me in for a bottle. But there's probably something else out of Rutherglen that's even more famous. Walk down Main Street in Rutherglen, you're gonna find Parker's Pies. Absolutely fantastic. And they make a pie that's made from the Bobby Burns Shiraz, beef and mushrooms. So I'm gonna get stuck in. Where's the footy? Parker Pies also sponsor the local footy team, the Cats. So while they work up a sweat, I'll finish my pie and head over to where the Bobby Burns Shiraz is made, Campbell's Wines. There aren't many families in Rutherglen that have been making musket and tokay longer than the Campbells. Susie Campbell is the fifth generation to join the business. I'm hoping that she and winemaker Tim Neal can shed some light on the region's flagship fortifieds. Susie, uh, why do you think Rutherglen is so good for making fortified wines then? Uh, I think it's all about the climate and um, at Rutherglen we've got a very long dry autumn ripening period which means that we can leave the grapes to um, hang on the vine and achieve a very um, high level of ripeness which then means that they retain a high level of sugar which gives them that lovely richness and complexity. I guess too um, because of our ancestors given the fifth generation that's existing today um, it's all about the ancient stocks that were laid down by them 80 years ago that enables us to make these really ancient wines as well. Musket is made from the grape variety Musket a Petit Grain. Tokay is made from a white grape, the Muscadelle. The main difference between the two is the musket shrivels and develops a real raisin fruit which makes really rich, luscious wine. The tokay, the musket oil grape, doesn't really shrivel as much, so you're making more of a sort of white wine style, um, which obviously develops complexity and develops as it ages. So what do you fortify them with? So they are fortified with a neutral grape spirit. Okay. Um, it's made from excess wine. The neutral grape spirit is 96% alcohol and is added before the fermentation of the wine is complete. It kills the yeast and retains the residual sugar. The end result is a wine that's both sweeter and stronger. I know I can get through a bottle of red, uh, but I don't know about this. Once I crack the top, how long can I uh, leave it open for? Or remain fresh for about a month at, at, at the least, really. And that's yeah, also a of months, um, because they've oxidised in barrel um, when they are bottled. Um, they've been through that oxidation process, so they can't they, oxidise any further. Basically, mm. it, it's all about um, enjoying them in moderation yeah. and just a small glass after dinner with dessert or as an aperitif wine. 